Hello, my name is Faith and I'm a customer care at Free ISP Radius. In today's video, I will show you how to do a self-installation or adding your micro tick to the panel. This video will have only two steps, that is generating config files and setting up your micro tick. You will navigate here to network and click self-install. Once the page loads, click generate configuration files. The files being generated will be the VPN connection files, hotspot and PPPoE settings that will be used to configure the micro tick. So copy step one and then go to your micro tick. Once micro tick is opened, click new terminal and paste the script. Then click enter. This will download the script that we will run by importing it on step two. Back here in admin panel, choose step two and copy. Head back to Microtik, click new terminal and paste the command. Then click enter. This will do the auto configuration as you can see. Once it is done, go back to admin panel and click next. And then next, here we will choose the ports we want to use for billing system. That is for PPPoE and hotspot. We will choose WLAN, WLAN and port 4. And that is it. Then click finish. The system will add the ports and install the router. After this, remember to add hotspot plans if it's hotspot or PPPoE plans or both if you're using both hot PPPoE and hotspot. Finally, we can go through some simple troubleshooting. First error is if your micro tick is a new model and a simple micro tick like 951 or 941, they are designed for home use. You will get the error device mode not allowed. If you get this error, you will copy this command here at the troubleshooting part and paste it in your micro tick. After pasting, reboot it from the power source. Don't reboot from inside the wind box and then try to the installation again. Second error is fail to resolve host. As you can see here, that simply means your micro tick doesn't have internet. You can check this by pinging 8.8.8.8. .8 it will show no route to host. That means there is completely no link to your uplink or the person providing you with internet. If it says timeout like this, it means you have either misconfigured your Ether1 settings or the person providing your micro tick with internet also doesn't have internet. Once you've started using the system and most of your customers are hotspot users, the page prepaid users in activation is the most important. You will check the column was connected. This column shows if the customer was connected after payment. If the status is here is yes, it means the customer paid and got internet. If the status is no, means the customer paid and was not connected. The system will send you an automated message letting the customer know how to reconnect. And then the column disconnection reason, this one here shows why a customer is disconnected. If you click here, it will tell you the meaning of the disconnection reason and how to reconnect. Thank you for watching.